Hi everybody, this is Steve here. Hope everybody is okay and had a had a good week. It's, uh, I've not I've not done, done a great deal this week. Um, been still doing paperwork for my brother. Um, went to work on Tuesday and had to come home with chest pains. And um, I've had chin pains like this. I don't know if anybody can remember. I had pains early on in the year where I got taken to hospital. And it, it, luckily enough, it's on the right side of my chest and down my right arm rather than the left. Now, the hospital did all sorts of checks. They couldn't find anything and just sort of give the normal sort of cop out that it's like stress and anxiety because I couldn't find what it was. Uh, the doctor, when I got rushed, well, I had to go straight to the doctors from work. Um, I think my, my manager had a little bit of a, a panic when I told her about chest pains. And... He straight away, after doing a few checks, diagnosed what the problem was. He told me the sort of pains that I was having, uh, which was exactly right. And it sort of falls on from what the physio found early on in the year, that I've got um, a trapped nerve in my back, uh, which right in the middle of my back, uh, which I didn't even know about. I can't even feel it in my back, um, but it's given us problems elsewhere, like pains and numbness and t pins and needles down my right arm um, the occasional sort of pain in my jaw and um, pains in my chest which is basically feels like a knitting needle being shoved all the way through from behind my shoulder blade all the way through my chest um, so been to the physio since then the next day and He's done a few different things, put a TENS machine on and also sort of cracked my back as well. Uh, which has helped a little bit, but today my arm's been pretty bad. But I'm going back on Monday. Uh, I've got another session on Monday. Fingers crossed that'll help a bit. Uh, so that's been the highlight of my week. Um, oh, did get some good news. Um from the tax people. Uh, my brother had underpaid the tax and me being the honest person I was, you know, so I got in touch with them, which was probably some people say I shouldn't have, but I did. Um, they've sent letters saying you owe, or you, your brother, or you owe this X amount of uh, pounds. And they have since sent a letter saying they will take it no further and they are just gonna write it off um, as a bad non-payment type of thing you know it's like and um, which no there's no sort of comeback on it whatsoever and they don't want it paid so and i've even rang them up and confirmed it because i couldn't believe it and for once the the tax people have done something nice so that was a big thank you to them and what else what else oh yeah People in the UK, have you heard the news that the BBC are cutting, I think it's 2,000 jobs and also they are going to be putting more repeats on and cutting down sort of like entertainment shows and things like this. And basically, it makes you wonder what you pay your TV licence for. You know, all you're getting is repeats that you've already seen, been on the TV before. The BBC aren't putting any like not putting as much money into things so why the hell are we paying with tv license you know we'll also pay for like sky and things like that uh, for digital tv on top of a tv license so what what the hell's going on you know let us know your thoughts on this because i think it's absolutely disgraceful uh apart from the service they're providing but like getting rid of two thousand people it you know the bbc which was in some people's eyes, like the flagship is like very British, very English type of thing, you know. It's, uh, it's going down the pan, basically. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, I, I just want to send good luck to Tanner at Tanner TV uh, on sort of finding a nice new house and... If, well, I can't remember if he's actually found one now, but I, I know he was looking for one, and good luck with that. And I think that's about it for the moment. Uh, nope, can't think of anything else. So, 
Oh yeah, I've got a, a driver awareness course tomorrow. Um, a few, a couple of months ago, I was clocked by a speed camera van, um, going a little bit over the speed limit, about six miles over the speed limit, something like that, uh, along the seafront with other traffic, and well, I still say I wasn't speeding because of the, the amount of traffic that was out and people walking about but I've got no way of proving otherwise uh, so I've had to do this driver awareness course so that I don't get points on my license uh, so I'm, I'm away for that tomorrow four hours sitting in a classroom being sort of being taught how to drive safely and about like what dangers like there are for speeding and things like that so I've got that to look forward to <laughs> and I'll let you know how it goes but that's it for the time being, um, short and sweet today. Uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend and look forward to seeing your videos. Okay, and take care everybody. Bye bye.